Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to today's presentation, co-sponsored by the Society of Decision Professionals and the Decision Analysis Society. My name is Hilda Chulekchen, and I have the pleasure of introducing today's presentation titled, Turning Water into Wine, Using Decision Analysis to Inform Municipal Water Management Decisions. Let me start by setting up a little context for why I presented this work in the first place. And it's sort of related to why I asked those questions. One of the stated goals of the Society of Decision Professionals is to promote the profession as the advisors of choice for decision makers and to serve the public interest. One of the sub-goals under that is facilitate the application of appropriate decision-making techniques into areas where they are not currently used or are used ineffectively but may be of benefit. So there are different ways that we as a society could try to achieve those goals. And as I was thinking about this talk, I was thinking back to one that Eric Bickle did two years ago as one of the SDP women webinars on climate change and climate engineering. That was a great talk. And in introducing that talk, Carl Spetzler talked a little bit about how that was a really good example of using decision analysis on big, important, kind of global scale issues and how that helps to publicize and increase awareness of decision analysis and decision equality. Uh, decision quality. So that's one way to achieve promotion of the profession on these big kind of uh, global size problems. I think of this as kind of the other end of that spectrum where we're using decision analysis on a very local level. It's a very personal level. It clearly doesn't have the scale of impact that Eric's work uh, does. But on the other hand, it's really immediate. It's very visible to the public. And people definitely take notice because it impacts them directly. So there are probably thousands of opportunities like this out there where we could use decision analysis on local problems. So one of my goals here um, in giving this uh, talk is to maybe spur some ideas or um, spur a little interest from people to look for other opportunities like this where we can help to improve decision quality at this level of local government. So this work is focused on where I live, St. Helena. It's a town of less than 6,000 people in the upper Napa Valley. Um, if you've ever visited Napa Valley, you have uh, almost assuredly driven through St. Helena. Now the problem here is water. 